All right, chip butt grafting and action. All right, this is a chip bud graft, how to do one. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Basically what you're doing is cutting a notch in your rootstock and then making a matching piece of, um, of bud to, to slip into it. So you're, what you're taking out of one, you're replacing from another. Um, so we start with the grafting knife and uh, I measure between six and nine inches up. You can choose. Uh, I make a cut. The literature says 30 degrees. I've never measured it, but what I'm doing is making a little flap. And you can see the dark green here of the growing layer just under the bark. So the, the idea is that you're exposing as much of that as you possibly can. After I've done that, I choose a bud from my scion wood and I make the same 30 degree cut underneath. And I've got another flap which is going to expose cambium um, under the bud. And then one knife width above the bud, you can see that I measure like that, you put your knife in and you scoop it down and under the bud. And then you've got the bud. You anchor it with your thumb on your knife so you have control of it. You need to make certain that you don't touch the raw side. You measure like this. So I've just aligned the bottom of my bud with the notch in my rootstock. I eyeball the height. I put the knife up to that point and I slice down, not very deeply. I'd rather make a slice that's too small than a slice that's too big because I can go back and enlarge the original slice, but once I've removed the wood, I can't put it back. So I put the butt in to see how it fits. I'd like my notch in my rootstock to be a bit bigger, so I'm going to make one more cut. Make sure that you clear out any of the wood and then slide your butt in. It should be pretty secure there. And you can see that there's almost none of the rootstock showing around the outside edge of that. Once I've got that done, I take my tape. We're using poly tape, which stretches really nicely. You start at the bottom of the bud and carefully, because you don't want to knock your bud out, you anchor that first tape with one wrap and then wrap over the bud. With the poly tape you can cover the bud. With other tapes you need to leave the bud exposed so you need to wrap above and below it and then use a grafting seal on either side so that the bud doesn't dry out. This poly tape is a little bit more expensive but um, it's worth it because we can just wrap over the bud which saves time. The bud will pop through and once the tree starts to grow the tape breaks and you can easily remove it. So again, it saves time. Um, you don't have to uh, unwrap when you think that the, the uh, chip has healed. You know the chip has healed because the growing starts and the tape has split. So once you finish that, you want to cut your rootstock a couple of um, buds above the bud that you inserted. And you want to do that on an angle as if you were pruning the tree. And there you have a chip bud graft.